Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here in the Garden of Eden! We have just popped back over from the beautiful meadow of horses through the teleportation chameleon. That's really kind of an odd sentence if you don't understand what the teleportation chameleon is. But we have just come back from the meadow of horses and I thought we'd pop up here to the Garden of Eden and just kind of take a little stroll before we start our work for the day. And by the way, thank you guys so so much because so many of you guys left comments about how much you love the meadow of horses and how you want us to have our farming side series there and I was so excited to see that so even though we're really close in fact if we walked over I think if we walked over past the doggy bakery and we kind of just really hoofed it to the edge of where this big giant highlands is you could look down and probably see the farmland and you guys actually thought that was a really fun idea so I was really happy to hear that so the farmland we will probably just stay near it and we can always drain the bog and like take the bog and turn it into more usable land and we can always expand in the other directions away from the zoo if we want to continue our little farming series and it would be really fun to have the village over there trade with the village of people up here at the village of light so it was a really great idea so thank you guys so so much for that and thank you guys so much for everybody who's so excited to see the village of light a lot of you guys are requesting a side series or at least a side quest day at least once a week where we could try to build in the village of light and I may try that and I may even do it with time lapses if you guys want it's really kind of hard to do with time lapses because not both my computers can handle the fanciness that we have with the beautiful beautiful falling little little um little flowers here absolutely beautiful but if you guys are interested in that then we might try that because you guys can see me do time building time lapse building in the village of light and we usually work in creative in the village of light and the other villages because they're not part of our land proper and your land proper you stay in survival in your land like building villages you go ahead and build those in creative because the point is to have them to trade in and play in so that would be really fun to see also we should go check on relic ruins again pretty soon but all right oh my goodness <laughs> It has been so busy and I have been so busy so if I seem a little breathless I apologize. We have been getting ready to go to my sister's wedding Zozo! My sister's wedding! And by the time you guys see this I'm going to be going around and packing and frantically trying to find everything. I've already sent her off her little present. I'm actually really excited Teleportation Chameleon because she loves Marvel. And so what I did is I found these cool big giant letters. Oh. Is everybody okay? Yeah, everybody's okay. We're gonna bring them in and make sure the girls can have some food to eat. But I found these big giant letters on Etsy that spell out Ohana. Like I, you can you can tell them what you want them to spell, like a name or something. And I asked the woman who makes them, whoops, I didn't mean to put the geisha seeds in there. I thought they were strawberries. To please spell Ohana with the the um, Marvel lettering. So it's like Marvel comic book pages that are pasted down really pretty over this wooden letter and then she wraps it up real nice and puts like a really nice glaze on it. So it looks lovely. Oh look, there's a cauliflower floating on the ground. Huzzah, let's go ahead and put this away. And that's what I got my sister for her wedding. So I'm really excited to give it to her. And I had it spell Ohana because Ohana means family in Hawaiian and we are Hawaiian. So I'm pretty excited about that. There we go. Ha ha ha. Now I have 30, 30 levels of experience points. Oh, let's go over here. Take that, darling. Take that. But we're not talking about weddings and we're not working on weddings today. We are actually going to be going down and taking our willow saplings right here and trying to grow them over at Tate's Pier. And I actually have some pretty cool ideas for Tate's Pier that we're going to go work on today. I'm going to make the pier a little bit bigger and we're going to try to give the pier a little bit of um, siding and a fencing that will go around it. Because, whoops, I'm going to lose my sword if I do that. Because I would really like to start fishing at the pier. Wouldn't it be so much fun if we just stopped and we kind of did a little bit of fishing while we were building? I think that would be real fun. So why we are building Tate's uh, let's see, what do we call it? The Tate and Tackle. So while we're building the Tate and Tackle and the little like fish museum hallway and we're building the fisher dogs table downstairs, kind of like a gentleman's club for fisher people of all of all genders, whichever one you, you are or identify as. And we would have that for them. So let's come down here. But yes, darling. Okay, what am I saying? I'm so distracted because there's always so much to do in the zoo. That's right. But while we are building all of those things, I really want to go fishing. I really want to go fishing. And we're supposed to be gathering up tons of fish to give to Alex as a present anyway. We have all of these fish. So I realized, you know what? We should probably go ahead and have like a little chest where we can just start putting the fish. And then as we build, we can take breaks now and then and go fishing. And I thought that would be really fun. So let's go ahead and come on down. I'm going to leave Aki. 
<laughs> I guess Aki likes cherry cheesecake. At least we're learning that about her. That's awesome. I'm going to leave some of the puppies here and take our fisher puppies back with us. Tate, you're definitely coming. All right, Ash. I don't know if Ash is a fisher puppy. All right, a little bit further. How are the babies? Babies look like they're doing well. Look at the happy family. I'm glad they can stay warm in here. All right, Lily, Iris, sit. Zoe, sit. All right, Lily, you can come. Ash, you can come this time. I think he swims. I'm pretty sure Ash swims. And then we'll bring Tate. And Alia, I'll be back for you. In fact, Alia, why don't you come? Why not bring four dogs? That's a lot of dogs to feed, but we have a lot of rotten flesh and pig's ears. Hopefully they can forgive me. We're just going to go for the, the easy peasy food for them to eat today. There we go. All right. There we go. We're already getting moving. I'm pretty excited. And look, 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 look. Look who's back. Bluebell's back. I managed to convince Bluebell to return to us. I had to bribe her with a cake so that she would stop striking and then give her more sugar. But she should have plenty of sugar and cake now. Does she have enough sugar? She does not have enough sugar. I'm going to give her more sugar. I also gave her her bluebell back, but she's not wearing it. So I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Maybe she maybe she doesn't want to wear flowers. I know that seems like a weird idea to me, but that could be the case. Oh, dear. And Primrose is about out of sugar, too. Oh, man, I really need more sugar. I think having that little sugar stand where I could just buy sugar, like a little sugar cane stand, and you could just buy raw sugar or maybe sugary treats. In fact, what can you what can you use sugar to make? Ale yeast, minced chocolate, material of cigarette beef, cabbage and pork. What else? Cake. The Little Maid, let's see, Geishel Cake, Training Treats, a sugar block. We could just buy blocks of sugar, cubes and blocks of sugar. Oh my gosh. You can use it to make a whole bunch of spritzers and slushies. Let's see. A lot of danishes. What's this? Elderberry sorbet. Ooh, Darling really likes sorbet. And you can find a lot of vegan sorbets too. So maybe we'll get some sorbet. Huckleberry tart, orangeberry square, strawberry delight, snowberry custard, water breathing salt. Ooh, I didn't know that we had those. That's interesting. With coral fragments, huh? I wasn't aware of that. Hmm. And let's see. Oh, and this is the healing salve. Okay. All right, all right. I'm learning some things. I didn't know we had those. Sugar bucket, sugar bag. Um, Let's see, cake. Yep, and then it just starts looping. So there's lots of sugar things we could get. All right, so let's go ahead. I need to put these peafowl eggs away really quickly. <laughs> so many eggs, darling. Oh, gosh. Well, I need carpenter's blocks, so I can just take those carpenter's blocks. I'm going to need oak wood planks for my new project that we're about to work on. We can take this dirt to redo the dirt in the area. That's right. I have a a stray creeper. Oh, and the cutting board. This cutting board actually belongs in the temperate, the temperate forest zookeeper uh, little cabin. So we'll take it back there. Whew. All right. Now we're getting into the flow of things. Okay. So today we're working on the dock and that means I'm going to grab these carpenter's blocks. We're going to grab these carpenter's barriers. And I think we already have, yeah, I've already got a carpenter's hammer on us. But we're going to use these to make the pier. And we're going to use these because when you put down the blocks, in fact, I'll just show you when we get to the pier. But when you put down carpenter's blocks, you can put an extra layer, an extra texture on the sides of the carpenter's blocks. And we're going to use that today. Let me go ahead and grab lots of oak wood. Good. That should be good. I might need some more of the carpenter's blocks. So we'll grab some of these. Um, I think that's all I need from here. And I think I'm going to stick to just like the oak colors because I really like the colors of the oak. All right. And the puppy should be following me. So we're just going to go ahead and go down this way. I'm trying to like, can I get hungry? Eat some of this cake? Nope. Not getting hungry. That's fine. I haven't exerted myself enough. Hello, Sunflower. Hello, Aster Seed. We had lots of people suggest really cool things like rental chocobos for people to ride around when they visit our zoo. And I thought that was so cool. We definitely need to make it easier. We might even add in a fast teleporter at some point. We definitely need to make it easier for people to be able to get around the zoo. All right, let's get down here to the pier. And maybe we'll do some fishing today too. Huzzle! So exciting. I love the fishing. Remember when we got the message in a bottle? I still want to have somebody down at the fisher dog's table, which, what should we call it? It's not exactly like a bar. It's just like the fisher dog's table where a bunch of fisher people, it could be fishermen, it could be fisher women, it could be fisher people of whatever they want to be, who can show up and just trade like jest and fish tales about like, one time I caught a fish this big and things like that. 
But I, they, we could also have people where you could take the messages in a bottle. And I think we talked about it a little bit before. Like you find a message in the bottle using the fancy fishing rods. And then you can take it down and trade it for like a treasure map. And then I'll hide the treasure. So people can come and get the treasure map and go off and find the treasure in our world. That would be so fun. Oh, goodness. Or maybe it could just be silly messages. Oh, gosh, I brought a lot of dogs. <laughs> Like I knew that, but seeing them all run around, it brings it home. All right, so here's what we're going to do. First things first, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put down some more planks just to figure out where we're going with these guys. And also we'll put down a, a chest, maybe just over here for now. Yeah, we'll probably put down a chest over here for now really quickly. So we have somewhere to put the fish. Because if the mood should strike us and we just want to stop our work and do a little bit of fishing, then I want to be able to do that because I think that would be fun. All right, so let's go ahead and get a double chest. And now I'm going to need more planks. That's okay. We can always get more trees. All right, there we go. There's that. There's that. All right, come on, puppies. <laughs> so many puppies. I almost needed to bring a food bowl with me. Oh, my gosh. All right. And we're just going to, right under this pretty little tree here, this will be where we put all the fish. And Tate would actually love eating the fish. So Tate doesn't have to eat the, um, the zombie flesh unless he wants to. All right, we're going to go ahead and start work. So first things, we need to get this gravel out of the way. Now this gravel is pretty cool. It's from Mine Factory, if I'm not mistaken. And it is actually iron gravel ore. So if you gather it up and collect it, you can burn it. You can actually put it in to the furnace and it will cook down iron, iron gravel ore. And you can put it in the jaw crusher if you really wanted to, but you can smelt it down into an iron ingot, which is pre pretty fun. It's kind of hard to find just plain iron sometimes in this world. All right, so we're going to put that away. And puppies, you guys are all crowding around the place. Oh, and some people were suggesting, I love this idea, having a NPC who can sell dog treats. Oh, darn. All right, let's run over here. Come on, guys, teleport to me quickly. Come on. All right, there we go. They got stuck under the pier. I'm going to make them sit down so they don't get stuck under the pier again while we do our work. All right, and again. And Lily, sit. Alia, sit. Ash, sit. Tate, sit. <laughs> it's just a pile of puppies. All right, so next thing we're going to do is we are going to figure out where the pier is going to go. And I actually want to change the shape of the pier just a little bit. I want to make it kind of a square. And I think we might have it come over here and leave this area open perhaps and put a willow tree right there. I think maybe I want to make it go out a little bit further. So, all right, let's do this. Come here. We're going to pull the pier back in, gather up all these pieces. And this is going to be fun because we're going to make a little square with the pier. And in the center of the square, we're going to put a big willow tree. We're going to make it into a nice big custom willow tree. So I'm pretty sure it's going to look awesome. And we are going to put lots of willow trees around here, which may mean clearing out some of the other types of trees because I think the willow trees would look really good. All right, so let's see. Like this? Yeah, this should be big enough. And then we'll come over. And once we know... In fact, I'm going to stop putting three down because if this is the, the right direction that we're going to go with this, then let's see a little bit further. Then I'm going to put carpenter's blocks on either side and we'll be able to start putting the extra texturing down. Okay, right here. So that would be right there. Is that enough? I think one more. Just one more. We're kind of eyeballing it. All right, how about that? And that should be good. Like so? Yeah, that's perfect. That should line up just right. All right, which means we're going to have to move these water gardens. All right, let's pick them up. I really love the water gardens. They're just so cool. I wish I could get them to go like all over the place. All right, can I, can I put you down? Okay, water gardens apparently do not go on sand. Good to know. I'm going to put one there and one there, and we're just going to see if they're going to spread because they are so awesome when they do. You can get so many snails from them. All right, and we're going to have to break these, get them out of the way. Out of the way, little reeds. Here we go. There we go. All right. Progress. Oh, and I'm going to have to move all of these water gardens. Oh, dear. Well, that's okay. I kind of like breaking them apart, <laughs> which sounds really, really silly, but I do. So, boop. What do we get? A frog. We just caught a frog. A frog, cranberry, and rice. And what about in here? Let's see. Ooh, two crabs and a cranberry. And right here? Ooh. We got a scallop and a crab and a piece of seaweed. Oh, I love how random and fun the gardens are. All right, and we'll go ahead and put all these away too so they're out of the way and I can do my work. All right, and we'll keep going with the pier. It's about right here, I think, maybe. 
And then we can start putting dirt down. Uh, where's my shears? There's my shears. There we go. All right. Making this area look nice. There. All right. Good, 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 good. All right. And then I need to actually come back over. And here we go. Put these carpenter's blocks down. And you kind of see the idea of what we're doing now? We'll probably turn all of this area into a water area. And then right over here, we're going to make it so that we can put down do, 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 a big old, a big old willow tree. And that might be a little bit interesting because we might have to like build the willow tree up a little bit first. So I'm see. Yep, the big old willow tree is going to be right about here in the center of everything. So I need to get it in the exact center more or less. Um, and thankfully, I think right about here. That looks like it would probably be good. So let's just put this there. And how many blocks is that? One, two, three to that. One, two to this. So it's never going to be totally even. That's okay. We can give it some roots and it'll look awesome. But we'll reward ourselves with a willow tree in the center in just a minute. For now, I'm going to take down these pieces. The reeds are a little annoying, but we'll take care of those as well. So don't you guys worry. We're going to make this look really awesome. We really are. And as usual, it's, it's a little bit slow, but you guys thank you so much because you're always just so friendly and you're so excited when we kind of take things slower like this. I'm always seeing comments like that. Siri, Siri, build more on camera. Siri, I really want to see what's happening. I want to be there from the first block going down to the last block going up. And now we're doing that more often and it's been fantastic. Everybody seems so much happier. You guys just, I can sense the growing pride of, yeah, I was there when we built that. And it's just so fun to see. It's just so fun to see everybody really excited about the projects that we do. All right, let's take these down. Boom, 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 boom. And your ideas going slower like this really means that I'm able to add in a lot more of your ideas on different projects and builds. And the end results are just fantastic. All right, let's do this and this and this. Whoops. All right. All right. Blurb. Blurb. All right, there we go. So there's that for the outside. And again, the, the carpenter's fencing or the carpenter's blocks probably don't make a lot of sense to you guys just yet. Hang in there and you'll see what my master plan is for this in just a little bit. It's actually coming together pretty good if you ask me. All right, we're going to come along here, take these out. Now surrounding the entire lake, one day, it's not a project for now because we're still working on all of this is being built for the sake, <laughs> believe it or not, of the Asian fish exhibit still. Still, I love the adventures we have to go on just to get like one little task done sometimes. But yeah, I'll show you guys those later. Okay, coming along here. And here we go. Actually, I didn't need you there. All right, whoops. Okay, that probably wasn't the best idea. Blurp. All right, and we'll pop out. Jump up. Oh, that wasn't enough. Oh no, <laughs> that wasn't enough gumption. All right, let's pop out. Here we go. But yeah, building a little bit slower like this, every now and then I'm like, oh my goodness, everybody must be so bored. But no, you guys seem pretty happy. So how many of you guys have been fishing? Because actually, I went fishing a lot when I was a kid. I don't fish anymore, especially not after the new studies have come out that do prove that yes, fish can indeed feel pain. They have lots and lots of nerve endings that allow them to feel ample amounts of pain. So I don't fish anymore, but... I used to really enjoy the quiet. I think I didn't enjoy the fishing part as much as I thought as a kid. I enjoyed the sense of quiet. I enjoyed being out in nature because we never really went to parks very much when I was a little kid. My parents were very sick. My mom especially was very, very sick. So we didn't really go out a lot when I was younger, like just to parks and things. But my grandpa would take me fishing. And so I got very attached to fishing because it meant sitting in his little boat that he would borrow from his friend and we go to his friend's lake and we would just sit there and it would just be outside in nature and I would get to see the water as it's like lapping up against the edge of the lake and you would get to see like the really cool fish and every now and then there'd be a very exciting water moccasin hiding right under the boat that we were trying to to like flip over and drag along the shore to like swim in or to like put out on the, the lake that was really exciting all right so now you guys kind of see like the basic layout of where this dock is going to be and I think we'll actually like start taking this ground away to make the dock a little bit bigger Ooh, well that was a little bit more than I expected to do oh there's a pretty little shard down here come here lovely shard 
So we'll, we'll fill in the water and fix that later. But that's just to kind of give the dock a little bit more breathing room. Alright, do this, do this. And we'll, we'll make the rest of it look pretty good later. Alright, come on. Get out of here. Get out of there. There you go. But, yeah, you're starting to see the basic shape of what this one will probably be like. Which means this birch tree, unfortunately, is going to have to go. Sorry, buddy. Oh, and that means that this rubber sapling is also going to go. Okay, then. Thank you very much for your contributions in the past, rubber sapling. Oh, boy. We'll have to replant a lot of these. <laughs> it's just it's just kind of the way things go over here. When you're having to... Oh, gosh. Well, in for a penny, in for a pound. Isn't that what they say? All right, well, let's just go ahead, clear that up. Okay. That's what happens when you start messing with the tiny forest. All right, well, we suddenly have a lot more space over here, but don't you guys worry. We will be, um, we'll be tending to this. We will. All right, and we're going to come along here, and now we're going to add... No, wrong, bad. Oh, I don't think I put... <laughs> oh, I don't think I put the carpenter's blocks down there because it was covered by dirt originally. Now we do this. Ta-da! And that'll be a very nice look up along the sides. So I think I just have to come along. And I like that. I like that look a lot. So once we finish with this, we'll go ahead and plant our willow tree. And see how our willow tree looks. Alright, well maybe this... Ah, no! That's why you need to be careful with what you do at what angle with carpenter's blocks. Because carpenter's blocks will actually change what texture they show depending on what angle you are at. So you kind of have to be up like this. Oh no, not that far up. That's why it's just better to sit up top like we were doing. All right, well, I also could do it like this. Do, 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 do. And we'll just try not to drown while we build the dock. Try not to drown, grab a breath. And the puppies could probably be swimming. I wonder, is there a way we can make it so the puppies don't get stuck under here and start drowning? I don't think there is. Whoops. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. All right, let's fix these. Fix these. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And up and up. There we go. Up. Grab a breath. Up, up, up. Whoops. Too much. Too much up. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. And there we go. All right. Back onto the land. And you can't really see it over here, so it doesn't look that awesome yet on this side. But I promise you this is probably going to look pretty good. And the goal is going to be to have a big, magnificent willow that's going to go in the center right there. So I think we might try planting the little willow sapling in just a second. And we'll give the little willow sapling a shot. Alright, and right there. And right there. And right there. All right, and right there. All right. See, look at how that's looking. Doesn't that look cool? I really like it. And then once we we'll, once we put this down, we will actually be putting up a little get out of the way. A little reed. We'll put that reed back down in just a second. Don't worry. But we'll be putting up some of the carpenter's fencing on the sides to create a really nice looking barrier. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. I like it. I like it. So let's go ahead. And we're going to get at least one willow sapling up and going right in the center here. Whoops, not there. <laughs> right in the center there. Oh, and there we go. Wow, it's a lot shorter than I was hoping it would be. <laughs> All right, we might have to clear that willow sapling out. It was supposed to be a lot bigger. It was supposed to be a lot bigger. It's really cute, though. It's very pretty. So that didn't quite turn out the way I thought it would. So we'll have to clear this tree out. And we will definitely have to make it a lot bigger, but there's progress being made. So there you go, guys. It's not too much just yet, and I really I really need to come up with more ideas. Maybe start bringing in some of the cool little wooden benches that have been made for us, dragging them over here so that we can have them to look at and to try to like put down maybe places that people can watch all of the swans. And we'll also have to think about what we're going to surround the whole lake with, but not right now. Not right now. And we'll also have to start doing a little bit of random fishing. But all right, we're going to have to clear that little tree down and try putting down a lot more willow trees and adding them around the place so that they'll make the dock area look nice. And I just realized we probably should work on the path just a teensy bit down to it. But it's slowly and surely coming all together, and I hope you guys are enjoying it, and I will see you all in the morning. Bye-bye, guys.